you're more than a driver. I mean, there's no reason I should be going to the line four times in a game when I drive a hundred times to the paint. I'm getting hit and slapped and grabbed and whatever, whatnot. So, but we protect the shooter. That's what that's what it's turned into. Um, you know, chicks dig the long ball, and uh, <laughs> that's what it's about. You had a funny line this morning's meeting. We said ch he said chicks dig the long ball. You said he missed a great golden opportunity, a layup. Well, he had set it up himself. He should have said, and I guess refs do as well. Oh, Boom. He, he, you know, he, he, I can't believe LeBron missed that. Come on, LJ. But we we talked about this a little earlier. You, you think they're a little too reliant on the long ball, but look what happens when he drives. He's not getting the. Look, do you think he's right? I, I think yesterday he definitely had reason to be upset because I mean we saw it on there. There was the drive when. Rudy Gay nailed him in the nose. Ron late went to the basket stanchion and was bothered for a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, there were a few times he got fouled yesterday. For him to drive that much, yesterday he lived in the paint. Mm -hmm. And to only get four free throw attempts is definitely not good officiating, especially when you talk about the superstar of the league. But overall, I will have to say LeBron does not have an argument. He is 26th in the league in drives per game. Mm -hmm. But he is eighth in the league in free throw attempts per game per drive. Meaning when he drives to the basket, he gets to the free throw line more than most players. More than everyone but seven guys on a percentage basis. Y yes, yes. I mean, he, he on a percentage basis, he gets foul calls on drives more than Russell Westbrook, James, not James Harden, but DeMar DeRozan, uh, Ben Simmons, John Wall, Chris Paul, like but all these guys drive more to him and get to the free throw line or get fouled. But, but here's the drives. thing. But those guys don't get fouled as much as LeBron. Like the, the I, what you're saying is a fair point. Listen, he's 14th in the league in free throw attempts per game. It's the fewest free throws he shot in his entire career aside from his rookie season. But we, he's shooting right now less free throws per game than Damian Lillard, Lou Williams, uh, Devin Booker. But we also watch the games and know that he is contacted almost every drive to the basket. Not the, and now, listen, when it's a clear path, guys get out of his way. And so, yeah, but, sometimes he initiates the contact, too. We, the yeah, you saw that one. Yeah. But I'll we all out. agree that there is, that when it comes to officiating LeBron, as people have put it, there is some shack rules to it, which is at, it probably didn't affect him. Oh, he's bigger than the guy. But uh, first of all, he ain't Shaq. You said it for I'll say it again. Jack right. was 7'2", right. 340 or 350. LeBron is big given his style of play, but he's almost never the biggest player on the court. I mean, he's 6'8", he's listed 6'8", 250. Let's call him 6'8 and a half, 265. He's still small, he's still shorter than Pau Gasol. He's still the same height as Rudy Gay. No, you're like, right, you're and, right. And so the idea that, so I, listen, LeBron does have a fair gripe. Now, the play he was most upset about yesterday is that the Spurs had a lead in the third quarter and the Cavs were on a really good run late. Jordan Clarkson had a few shots. They had a 74-71 lead with less than a minute left in the quarter. And now LeBron gets shoved in the back right there on an offensive rebound. It then leads to a Danny Green three. It's now a tie game 74-74. LeBron makes a bad play coming up the court, turns the ball over, and then stays and argues with the officials after the turnover about the shove in the back. You'll see it here. That wasn't He wasn't fouled there, but he's still upset about the play from before, and that did help change. You'll see the quarter ends. LeBron's still angry at the officials here, and that did change the game a bit because then at the beginning of the fourth quarter, he sat on the bench. Yeah. Spurs won on a 9-0 run, but I don't think it's arguable. Like, <clears throat> LeBron, we, we typically see in the league the best players get the benefit of the whistle. LeBron gets the opposite of that. I wouldn't say the opposite. Like I said, the numbers show he, when he drives, he gets to foul more than all but seven players in the league. I mean, Westbrook is a superstar. He's not getting as many calls as LeBron, and he gets hit too. He gets hit too. And look, look maybe slightly, but overall, I don't think it's a huge issue. I don't think LeBron has a huge beef. Yesterday, he did, but overall, I can't say. I consistently see in Cavaliers games that LeBron's getting a bad whistle. What, why do you think he's shooting the low, fewest free throws a game he's shot since his rookie year? I think as you get older, you tend to not drive as much. Now, yesterday he was in the lane all the time. Oh, the whole time. I think at times he settled a lot more for threes than he should. 
You know, especially at late in games, I think you might even agree with that. Well, I think part of the, now there's a chicken and the egg thing there. Because if, if, if you're LeBron and you think you're not getting calls and you know late in games they swallow the whistles even more and you haven't been getting the calls, the benefit of driving to the basket late in the game is removed. No, because the benefit it, is you score. Well, not if you, not Who's going to stop him at the rim? Well, I don't know. We, let's take the Golden State game on Christmas. LeBron did exactly that, got fouled by Kevin Durant. They don't call the foul, and people say Durant made this great play. Like, the benefit, it, it, I mean, if he you're... Got, and we know he got fouled. Right, and, admitted and so if the one of the reasons you want to drive to the basket is score or get fouled, if the getting fouled option is being removed or at least lessened, that's one of the reasons I would imagine LeBron is shooting jump shots late in games with somebody who's been criticized That's for. a good, and it's interesting, one of our colleagues, Skip mm -hmm. Bayless, he, his theory is that LeBron shoots the three at the end of the game, so so he won't get fouled and have to go to the free throw line. Right. It's I don't think the data backs that up. No, I, I, I agree with you on that one. Um, like I said, I don't think overall LeBron's getting a bad call, but we did yesterday and the Kevin Durant on Christmas Day. Those are two examples where he definitely got hacked so, and they didn't call it. So you do or you don't think there's implicit bias because he's so big and strong and fast? No, I, I think of course there is to a degree. I think, guy, I think he can handle the contact better than any yeah. player in the league that plays his style. And so what the refs don't want is him shooting 18 free throws a game, but there's a big difference between that and shooting yes. fewer than six a game for the first time since his rookie season. All right, we'll take a break here. Coming up, why are the Warriors just so annoying?